What is up guys, this is Morton Power 35 here and welcome back to the channel. Today what I got for you guys is my eulogy for Black Ops 3. And I know what you're thinking, um, but the Black Ops 3 game is not dead. I just feel like it's time for me to get my th final thoughts and impressions on the game since the life cycle will be coming to an end as of Friday um, with the launch of Modern Warfare Remastered and Infinite Warfare. Um, so I've compiled a list of everything I liked, everything I didn't like, and just my thoughts and opinions on the game as a whole. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So we're gonna start out with um, with some uh, some good stuff. Uh, the maps were really good. Um, a lot of the maps are great. I did a top five video on my favorite maps or the top five maps in the game uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, I'll leave a link to that in the description so you guys can go watch that. But I feel like the maps were were balanced really well. Um, they played really well. The the small range maps played like small range maps and so on and so forth with the mid to long range maps. Um, and I'm just talking about the regular maps, not DLC maps. Um, I felt like we got a diversity in the maps. We got um, you know we got Nuke Town, which is which is a staple in the Black Ops series. We got a map set in a train station. We got maps. Uh, we just got all kinds of stuff with stuff in the forest. We got all kinds of stuff. Um, but yeah, I thought the maps were were balanced really well. And speaking of balance, I thought the weapons were balanced really well too. There were some that were underperforming and some that overperformed. Uh, but overall, I felt like the the developers did a great job of balancing the weapons. And uh, they actually did overbalance some weapons, and I think they did underbalance some weapons as well. But overall, the weapons were balanced really well, in my opinion. And now to the DLC maps. There were some really creative DLC maps, such as Splash and Micro, where we got to go inside of an abandoned water park and have hand to hand combat, and we also got to go inside of a picnic as micro sized combat warriors trying to battle in the midst of hot dogs hamburgers soda and coffee and things like that and i thought those were great we had some really really cool aesthetics and maps like citadel um or it's just like that medieval feel to it and then we had some not so great maps such as verge uh rupture uh, skyjacked um and things like that i just i feel like there were really good DLC maps, and then there were really bad DLC maps. But um, but overall, I really enjoyed the DLC cycle um, much better than some other Call of Duties that I've played. And uh, speaking of the DLCs, the remakes that they did, two of the remakes in particular were really good. I really loved the Raid and Standoff remakes that they did, which would be Empire and Outlaw. I feel like they did a great job reimagining those two great Black Ops 2 maps, um, and they they just played really well. I know they didn't play like the original maps to an extent, but they they did play well. And then there were some not so good remakes, such as uh, Verge and Skyjack. I was really hyped for the Hijacked remake when they were announcing it um, right as. DLC 1 was about to drop and then when we finally got the opportunity to play it it was really disappointing so um, I hope they continue to do remakes um, in Call of Duty but uh, I just hope they take a lesson from uh, some of the not so good remakes that we've seen Treyarch have and then move forward into the the future of Call of Duty remakes uh, next I felt like there were too many melee weapons, um, and especially because they all played the, the same, they felt like they were just reskins of the same thing. Melee weapons do what melee weapons do; they're they're just melee weapons. And I felt like they they made too many uh, melee weapons, and some were cool, some weren't. I mean, it is what it is. It's it's just I felt like there were too many melee weapons in Black Ops Three. And to go along with that, I don't feel like there was enough ranged weapons. Um, they maybe added one or two from each different class, classification of weapons into the DLCs. And I felt like there could have been a little bit, they could have evened it out a little bit more 
um, added a few more pistols that could have added um, some other special ones because there's only two special melee weapons or special weapons and I felt like they could have done more with that classification but overall the the some of the DLC weapons that we got were really good my favorite being of the ones that I have being the Marshall 16s and I feel like those were under nerfed when they did the weapon balancing I know they shortened the range on them a little bit but not much because I could still get one shots at a pretty good range um, and then th what they did implementing contracts was really good. Um, I have some issues with them. Uh, when we got the first total victory contract, we you get 75 wins. You got a rare, su or rare supply drop bundle with 10 rare supply drops, and you got a guaranteed weapon bribe, which I kind of wish they would have done what they did when they brought in the, um, I was wanting to say the triple play bundle where if you already had a melee weapon it would give you a brand new one um one that you don't already have but at the time i felt like that was a great way to appease the community when the community was really really irritated due to the supply drops but i'll get to those in a minute um contracts on the bad side i i don't feel like they cycled enough I felt like it, they were getting really repetitive and I know they went along with each of the, the daily contracts went along with the weekly contracts but I just don't feel like they were I don't think they diversified the the daily and weekly contracts and then getting back to special contracts we really only had one special contract the entire black ops 3 life cycle I wish they would have done at least two total victory uh, contracts that would have been you know even towards the end of the life cycle of black ops 3 they should have added another you know another total victory so that you could have the incentive to get the uh supply drop um with just winning just playing the game and getting wins um and supply drops these are love there's a love-hate relationship with these things um uh, when the when black ops 3 first came out they said that the only thing that would be in supply drops would be cosmetic items only and the community was okay with that because there wasn't any stat varying weapons in them and then activision was like nope we've got to have uh we've got to have melee or we have to have weapons in these supply drops um which was a smart business move because it's making them a lot of money and by no means am I bashing Activision for their business tactics because they're really good at business. Um, but I just I don't feel like they were keen to the community as much because there was a few month gap where people were they were striking against supply drops. And I even did that as well. Um, and then we ended up getting the total victory contract. We ended up getting a bunch of different bundles to where we could get melee weapons and range weapons. But I don't feel like the the uh, supply drops were balanced very well. Um, and another thing is the crypto key earn rate was wasn't that balanced either because it was really really hard to grind out crypto keys. Uh, and then when they did double crypto weekend key weekends, which I only think they did two or three of those in the entire life cycle, um, I saved up one the first weekend they did that. I saved up over 600 crypto keys and got hardly anything. All I got was a wrench, which was two DLC batches old at the time, and I just I don't feel like that was all balanced that well. And the community spoke out. And I feel like they they tried their best to appease the community, but you know it is what it is. It's it's business, and I I completely understand. Um, and then the attachment variants that they had the supply drops, I don't think I've ever really used a variant. I think I just skip over those whenever I get them a supply drop. They weren't as very uh, varied as they should have been. They were. Sometimes they were indistinguishable between the original and then its DLC counterpart or supply drop counterpart. Um, but the specialist themes, on the other hand, were really good. Some were over the top, but not all of them. And then the gestures, I think they did a good thing by going with the the pop culture with adding like the the whip and nene, the hotline bling, and things like that into it. But I don't know if they, I think they might have went a little bit too far. 
but overall this was a great Call of Duty game and I know this video is getting to be a little bit long so I'm gonna cut it short here um, the, the the game was great um, I really enjoyed playing Call of Duty this Black Ops 3 this year um, and I know people are not that enthused about Infinite Warfare but I, I'm excited for Call of Duty and how it's gonna progress in the future and I've really enjoyed making content on this game for you guys um, I know I've only gotten 50 subs in the last few months or since February but I know over the next few months this is gonna be a great time for growth on my channel um, but I really enjoyed doing Black Ops 3 for you guys and I really enjoyed this game uh, David Vonderhart, I know you're probably not watching this video, but if you if you ever do stumble across this video Thank you so much for the black ops series in general um, If this is the end for black ops, uh, this was a great great um, trilogy and I give you as much applause as I possibly can I'm gonna rate this game a 9 out of 10 the only reason why it doesn't get a 10 out of 10 was because of the issues with the supply drops but thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. Let me know in the comment section what you guys thought about the game and its life cycle. And if you're new to the channel, guys, I really appreciate you guys being here. Hit that subscribe button, and we're gonna be we're gonna be hitting hard on some uh, new content with the new games coming out. We're gonna continue to do Black Ops 3, but more of uh, the new games. So thank you guys for watching, and as always, I will see you guys on the next video.